Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take another look at another issue of Nintendo Power. Um, I don't know if you guys really like these or not, but I, I enjoy doing them, so who cares. Uh, <laughs> um, hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, this is the April 2012 Subscriber Edition issue. Of course, when you go to find it in the store, the cover won't look like this. But, um, you know, I've really been... Um, the, these last few issues that I've done on YouTube, I've really been very, uh, I, I think these have been exceptional issues, and I really want to share these with you and show you what's all in these, so hopefully you guys go out and um, buy Nintendo Power, subscribe to Nintendo Power, because, you know, in this internet age, gaming magazines are still awesome, and I, I really want to show that off. That's the intent with this video. I don't want to show you the magazine so you don't have to buy it and, you know, break copyright things. I want to show this to you guys so you get excited about it and go out and pick one up. But anyway, uh, as you can see on the cover here, we have Epic Mickey, The Power of Two, which is going to be a, a sequel to, of course, Epic Mickey. And um, I really enjoyed Epic Mickey. I never got around to finishing it, but, you know, the camera was messed up. But uh, what I played of it, I really enjoyed of it because I really like that old school Disney flavor. So uh, I'm going to look more into this. They say they fix a lot of the issues with the game. So I'll definitely look into it. But really what I'm excited for is the 3DS version of the game. And uh, we'll talk about that when we get to the, uh, the article because there, there's something special about it. And we'll talk about that there. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and crack this open here. We got Peach. We're going to have a little thing about The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past in there. Uh, 3DS Roundup. And of course, Epic Mickey. Uh, I was really hoping that this cover would be uh, Xenoblade. There you got Last Story. Uh, Unchained Blades. I'll talk about that a little bit. I'm really excited for that. Heroes of Ruin. I'm actually excited for this as well. I think this is going to be an interesting game for the 3DS. And of course, Kid Icarus Uprising. But I was really hoping that this would be a uh, Xenoblade cover because they re do review Xenoblade in here. So we got the letters and then we got people thanking them for finally putting Xenoblade in the magazine. And apparently in the, um, this picture right here, apparently in Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS, you can find like Easter eggs like this of Skyward Sword stuff in there. So that's something to look out for. And this is the uh, April issue. So I've been looking for the usual, um, uh, let me back up a little bit. There we go. I've been looking for the usual like jokes in here, but, um, uh, didn't really find any, so if you guys see anything or if you guys have this issue and you know what the uh, the joke is, I thought it was initially this, but um, it makes sense that that would be coming to the Wii U. So, Assassin's Creed 3 on the Wii U. There you go. And then I thought maybe this too, Back in Black and White, uh, Pokemon Black and White 2. We'll see. I, I mean, I don't know what the, uh, here's the thing about um, Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney. I don't know what the joke is in this April issue, but uh, here's something awesome. They finally start talking about the last story. Nice article there about, uh, you know, what makes the last story special. A little thing on Transformers there. Uh, the Mega Man comic book. They do another um, thing on that. So, <clears throat> yeah. So that's kind of interesting. Nice little article to read. Oh, yeah, you got to have that there, right? That's pretty awesome. Maybe if I stay on this long enough, uh, it'll be my sort of thing for the the uh, thumbnail. There we go. More stuff on the Mega Man comic book. And then here's some new uh, 3DS titles coming out. There, Right there you have Etrian Odyssey 4, supposedly. So that'll be fun. Fatal Frame. Uh, Deep Crimson Butterfly. So there you go. I also think, is there a Fien or a, a Ace Attorney film? I think that might be the joke as well, that there's an Ace Attorney film. I don't know. Not really into the Ace. Ah, oh, now this is awesome. Finally, finally, finally on this character portrait star power thing, the slime gets its due. So there you go, guys. And one of the favorite games is Dragon Warrior 3, which is my personal favorite Dragon Quest game. Um, there's just something about that old school game that I really love. I, all the rest of them are great. It's just uh, I really love Dragon Quest III. Uh, article here, sort of an afterthought on uh, Resident Evil Revelations. So if you're interested in that, got that there. Ah, now this is cool. Um, this actually came with three AR cards for Kid Icarus. So that brings my total up to, let's see, the six with the game. There's nine. And then I found one in a Game Informer. So there's ten. 
And then I think I'm getting five or six from um, Club Nintendo. So I don't know what they do, but uh, it's cool to have them. So Also, apparently, if you don't find them all, apparently you can um, download scans on the Internet and use those, and those will work. So Those are some cool Mega Man figures there. That glare. God damn it. I think those are pretty awesome. Although I don't, this is not my favorite Mega Man X armor, but uh, still pretty awesome. And then we got the release uh, stuff here. There we go. Which, you know, you can look at if you buy the magazine. There you go. Readers Most Wanted. Now, this is really interesting because 3DS, Paper Mario, Luigi's Mansion 2, Kingdom Hearts 3D, Animal Crossing, and a to-be-determined Final Fantasy game. Um, all of those games I agree with. Uh, not so much Animal Crossing, never got into that series, but uh, the rest of them, definite, I definitely want to get for the system. Down here on the Wii, you can kind of see how the Wii is going. Uh, number one is the last story, of course. Um, Skylanders Giants, eh, I don't care. Uh, Lego Batman 2, okay. Amazing Spider-Man and Men in Black. So you see it's a bunch of licensed stuff really on the Wii. And then Wii U, I mean, there you go. I don't really care because who knows what's going to be coming out on the Wii U, even what the Wii U is. Okay, now here we go, guys. This is um, Unchained Blades, and it looks like a first-person dungeon crawler RPG that's going to be released on the 3DS by Xseed. So this is something I'm definitely going to be looking into when it comes out because um, I'm start. you know, I, I have the Dark Spire, I have Etrian Odyssey 3. I haven't got around to playing those yet, but... You know, when X when XC takes the time to put something out, it's definitely worth um, looking into. So, big two-page article on that. And, I mean, look at stuff like that, you know. That's one of the, they're called Titans in the game, and it's a dungeon and a boss. So, that's the kind of stuff you're going to be going up against. But it really, um, really has me interested in, uh, see right there, first-person dungeon crawler. Really has me interested in taking a look at it. So, I'm um, definitely going to be looking into that when it comes out. And then here we have some more stuff coming out um, for uh, the 3DS. And, of course, you have your evaluation station for the download stuff. Um, Super Mario Bros. Strider. Um, you know, it's on the 3DS now. Or, no, 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 no. Wii Virtual Console. So, if you don't have a Sega Genesis, definitely check this game out because it's a lot of fun. It's pretty hard. It's pretty cool. And we have an article here on Heroes of Ruin, a Square Enix, um, sort of a, like a looting RPG, if you know what I mean by that, like Diablo and stuff. And uh, the more I read about it, the more I'm interested in this game, so I definitely think I'll check this out uh, when it comes out. Kingdom Hearts uh, 3D, Dream Drop, Dream Drop Distance, and right there is enough to make me interested. Sora in um, the Tron Legacy outfit, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, Battleship, who cares? Roller Coaster Tycoon, who cares? <laughs> I'm supposed someone will. All right, so here we get to the um, <clears throat> double feature on the Wii version of Epic Disney Epic Mickey Power of Two, and then you know it's it's basically going to be like Epic Mickey, only this time you have co-op between you and Oswald, and it sounds pretty cool how they're going to do it. Um, if you don't have someone playing with you. Now look at that. That is that is friggin' sweet. That'd be awesome box art. If that's the box art, I'd be really impressed with that. But um, if you don't have a second player to control Oswald, then Oswald is an AI character who follows you around. So, I mean, this article just goes on and on, and it says something about the game being a musical, so I guess we'll see how that turns out. Um, there's a interview with, um, oh, who is that? Oh, is that War Inspector? Yeah. All right, there he is. <laughs> oh, wait, um, something about Sui Coden. I'm going to have to go back and reread this because I must have missed something about it. He must be wanting to do something with Sui Coden. I don't know. Mm, I don't see anything in the bold print, so I'll have to go back and we'll, maybe I'll talk about that a little bit later. But this is what I'm really excited about. Epic Mickey, Power of Illusion. Now, this is going to be the 3DS version of Epic Mickey. Think about a game that says Mickey and Illusion. You have to go back for this one. But Mickey Mouse in the Castle of Illusion and World of Illusion, this is going to be a sequel to that. Um, so, And if you look at the, uh, like the uh, screenshot there, 
which is really blurry. I apologize, guys. But um, it's going to be a 2D platformer, hand-drawn sprites and everything. And that has got me super excited because Castle of Illusion is an awesome game. Some more fantastic artwork. This is a really good issue. You guys should definitely check this out. And then we go into the talker, talking about the uh, the making of the 3DS version and how it's going to be a sequel to um, Castle of Illusion. Great stuff. And this is an awesome uh, article because Link to the Past is my favorite Zelda. So this is uh, 20 Reasons Why Link to the Past is the Best Zelda Game Ever. And um, I'm not going to really let you read this stuff because I want you to go out and support Nintendo Power because this is an epic issue. But there's also um, three reasons why it's not. And um, when I was reading it, I oh the um, one of the reasons I think it's not is because of that fucking um, snow dungeon, the ice dungeon in the Dark World. That thing is so friggin' hard. Oh my god! But um, they didn't make the cut here, so there you go. And then here's a big article on uh, Mario Tennis Open for the 3DS. So if you care about that, big thing in here. But personally, I don't. Um, I'm not big. You know, I have um, I have Wii Sports for the Wii, and I, you know, I don't really feel the need to go buy that. Uh, this is an interesting uh, article because it's uh, the year first year report for the 3DS. And I thought maybe Nintendo Power would go really easy on it, but there's a couple things that they actually really knock them for. Um, I don't know if the third party, the th they say the third party support's very good, I suppose, but uh, for me, it's not quite there yet. Uh, things like the applications, it needs improvement. Uh, where was one thing, the online gameplay needs improvement. There was one thing, though, I thought they really slammed them on. I guess not. So, I mean, of course, they're going to say that the 3DS is pretty good. But uh, I, I think it's a, a great system. Overall, they gave it a pretty positive score. The value, they say, is excellent. So uh, make your uh, decision there, guys. I think it's got a lot of good stuff to it, but it's got a lot of bad stuff, too. Um, this is an interview with this dude right here, if you know that name. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I suck at pronouncing Japanese stuff. Uh, but he was... Uh, this is for Art, Mr. RPG Crazy. And he was the producer, if you can read that, probably not, for uh, Breath of Fire 3 and Breath of Fire 4. Also for Zack and Wiki on the Wii. And let's see what else he did. Uh, he did Mega Man 9 and 10. And he talks a little bit about um, Breath of Fire and how much he wishes it would come back because he thinks it's a just a, a fantastic series, which I would agree. I really hope Breath of Fire comes back sometime here soon. I think it, we definitely need it. Uh, big article, well, retro article on NARC here, if you guys remember NARC from back in the day. And then we get into the reviews here, and um, you got the review for Kid Icarus, which they give a 9.5, and they say it's pretty much a, a masterpiece for the uh, 3DS, so I'm, I'm, I'm like chomping at the bit to play that game. As soon as I get done with this, I'm going back to playing Tales of the Abyss so I can get that finished. But huge, huge review, and it's just got me super pumped for this game. I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, this is Spirit Camera, which I hear a lot of people um, were really interested in. I mean, those pictures are pretty spooky, you know, like, rah! Ah! How's that for you guys? You guys jump? Probably not. But uh, anyway, you know, it's got a 7, which, you know, a lot of horror games seem to get around that 7, 8 mark. Because I think horror is such a personal thing. It's it's hard to really make everyone affected by it. But this this looks absolutely creepy. So, you know, I might not check it out right away. Um, I might look uh, might look a little bit more into it before I jump into it. But it, it's something that, uh, it's definitely on my radar. I just don't know if I want to jump into it yet. Uh, Shifting World, 6.5. Major League Baseball 2.5. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. They gave it a 9. And uh, reading the article, you know, they basically say it is one of the most fantastic games. You know, it's just one of the best Wii games ever made. There are some problems with it, and I understand the problems with it. But, uh, you know, when you see screenshots like that and like that, I mean, I'm telling you what, guys, April. You, I don't know how many videos I'm going to do in April because I am just going to sink every waking moment into this game. I, I just, I cannot wait for Xenoblade. And if you guys haven't pre-ordered it, definitely go pre-order it. It's going to be one of the best Wii games um, ever. And then you got your 
Reviews archive, nothing too exciting there. Um, they didn't, from the sounds of this right here, they didn't really like Back to the Future the game. They gave it a 6.5, but that was the Wii version. I don't know if it ran worse on the Wii. I haven't played my PS3 version yet, but uh, yeah. And then here we got this. These are always cool. The community section, like this Wind Waker cake, and you get to see the close-ups of stuff. And here's the the cake cake toppers, which actually look like Lego with like Lego hands and stuff. But I don't know if they I I don't know if they handmade those or if they found them somewhere. But uh, just the attention to detail on that is pretty fantastic stuff. I always like seeing stuff like this when um, fans make things. And then, of course, we got a bunch of Kirby's that someone crocheted with a bunch of different hats. To see them all there. Great stuff. And then, uh, I believe this is the guy that <clears throat> works at the... Works at... Oh, the job... He's a director at Way Forward who made Shantae. Which, right there is Shantae. But he's getting into painting um, video game characters by the pixel. Which a lot of people are doing nowadays, you know. But... Um, yeah, it's really cool stuff. I really I really enjoy this kind of pixelated artwork stuff. I, I think it's fantastic. And then somebody knitted a, or maybe not knitted, I don't know what the correct word is, but they made a, uh, like a, maybe cross stitch. They made a map of uh, Mario World, so there you go. Cool stuff. Uh, someone made a um, Luma Moth uh, costume. Stuff's always awesome to look at. And then, I'm not sure what this is. This is something about making food out of, like, game objects or something. I don't know. And then next month, bam. So, I'm telling you what, guys. Nintendo Power and Nintendo in general are really knocking it out of the park for me. Um, I'm really pleased to be a Nintendo fan nowadays. It just seems like a lot of good stuff's happening at Nintendo. And you can question a lot of their stuff. Like, you know, the Wii U was basically made for this generation. And it's what the Wii should have been. But uh, the more I hear about, like, uh, the PS4 and the next Xbox, the less I want it, you know, with these um, gaming lockouts for the used games and stuff. So, But anyway, guys, this is a fantastic issue. I went on a little longer than I intended, but you definitely should go check it out. I mean, just fantastic artwork. And I got an issue of EGM the day before I got this one, and it was just so lackluster compared to this. I don't know. There's just something about Nintendo that still uh, still stokes the old uh, excitement factor for me. So definitely, guys, give it up for um, video gaming magazines. I really wish I could afford having a subscription to Retro Gamer magazine um, because I really enjoy like perusing that at um, Barnes and Noble. But God, it's like ten bucks an issue, and it's even more to subscribe. So this is a, a very cheap alternative. So uh, definitely check out Nintendo Power, guys. All right, uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's all for me right now. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.